Hello folks. Today, we're going to discuss creating a custom front end for your Google form. Now, when I was starting to set up my very simple company website, I knew I wanted a contact form. Nothing beats the simplicity of a Google form, especially if you already have a Gmail account or you're a, a Google Workspace user. But the front end, the user interface, is the same, right? For everyone, unless you pay for some third-party add-on. The functionality of a Google form is fantastic, but the form of the form leaves something to be desired. So on the left of your screen, you see my contact form as it exists in uh, Google Forms. On the right of your screen, you see the contact form as it exists on my website, which is just an HTML and CSS front end for this very same Google form. And my plan today is to show you exactly how to do this and do it in just a few minutes. So we can go ahead and close out of my company website and we can close out of this form and let's just go start a new form. So we don't need anything elaborate for the sake of this demo. I'm just going to name the, the file uh, demo form, which automatically updates the title of the form. I'm going to ask just a couple simple questions. So how about we ask, what is your favorite color? Now, Google's smart enough to assume that you're gonna want a short answer response on that. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and just copy this. Uh, let's also ask, what is your favorite animal? Go ahead and duplicate that as well. And now we will ask, what is your favorite food? Very simple form. I get it. It's, it's not complex, uh, but this is just for demo purposes. Now, in order to open up this uh, form uh, to the public, uh, we need to go into settings and responses, and I have it set to default to restrict to users in, in my org. I'm going to turn that off so that it's a public form. And go back and just make sure is everything here that I need? Yes, 100%. Now, this is what the form would look like if you just use the Google form. No big deal. We've seen it a million times. Now, here is where all the magic happens, right? There's one step that we need to do to get everything we need in order to create our custom form. And it's so simple. Go up to the three dots in the upper right hand corner and see where it says get pre-filled link. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then we're gonna put in some uh, data, uh, some response data in here and we just want it recognizable. So I'm gonna put 999-color, and I'm gonna put 999-animal, and I will put 999-food. Let's hit get link, and you'll see down here, it says share this link to include pre-filled responses. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that link. Now what I wanna do is go and just paste this into a scratch text file. So I use Sublime Text as a text editor. And let's paste that in. And, you know, everything that we're gonna need to create this form, you know, sans HTML and, and CSS experience, uh, is, is in this link. So everything to the right of view form, let's get on to its own line uh, up here. So this is just a link to your Google form. And it's just a, you know, really long, unique uh, string of characters dynamically assigned when the form's created by Google. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to want to change where it says view form uh, to form response in camel case. So that's form response with a lowercase f, capital R, all one word. Now, we can leave that link there for now. We'll come back to it later. Now we need to figure out the names of the input fields for our form. And you'll see uh, in here, you know, this entry dot and then this numeric value 
corresponds to the 999-color response that we put in. So we know that must be the uh, input field where I asked, what is your favorite color? So let's just, for uh, the sake of sanity here, clean up everything to the left of the name of the entry field. And let's just do that for all of them, get them all on their own lines. And you know, the, the more questions you have or the more input fields you have, the more of these you'll have to clean up, but it's really simple. And it, again, it's, it's where all the magic happens. So now I've got this link for the form response and I've got my three uh, input uh, field name values and then just equals the content that I put in that we really don't need anymore. Uh, let's open a new file in our text editor and in Sublime Text, you know, you can write in many languages. Obviously, this is going to be in HTML. Um, all I got to do is start typing tab to autocomplete. Now I've got a, a, the bare bones HTML file. I'm going to call that demo form. And then inside of the body, I'm going to create a form. Uh, for the form action. So what happens when I hit submit on the form, I need that to be that form response link. So I'm going to do form equals action. I'm going to go back to the scratch file that we have and I'm going to paste that in. Now inside of the form, we're going to need an input field for all of our questions. So if we start or for each of our questions, if we start, we open that input tag, it's going to ask us what type. These are text responses uh, in this case. Uh, and for the name, the name needs to match this. So the entry dash numeric value that corresponds with that first question. So go ahead and paste that name in there. Now what I like to do is just go ahead and type as little as possible by copying and pasting this in. And then all we need to do is go grab these numeric values that correspond with the next input fields and paste them over. So right now we've got the form action in, we've got the three uh, text input fields in place, and we've got the names corresponding with the form. So the next thing we need is we need a submit button, right? So that's super easy too. just throw in the button tags inside of the, the opening button tag, uh, do type equals submit. And then in between the, the tags, we'll wanna put something like submit form. Now, this is all you need for the form. I'm adding some line breaks so that these items uh, stack on top of each other instead of just, you know, go out horizontally. Um, now, Likely you're going to want to add labels for these. And when you add a label uh, inside the opening tag, you just you know copy and paste this uh, entry and you do uh, four, and of course I accidentally double double quoted it. Uh, but there we go. So we just do label for entry dot numeric value there. And then this is where we could put what is your favorite color. And we can copy that label again, just to simplify things. Actually, let's add a, a line break uh, at the end of that line. And let's hop down here and paste it in there. And let's hop down here and paste it in there. Now, obviously, we want these entry IDs to, to match for each question. So we can copy those and paste those. And then this was, what is your favorite animal? And this one was, what is your favorite food? Uh, you may also want to do placeholder text. Uh, so inside of the input type, you would do placeholder equals and I'm going to go ahead and uh, change it up here and put black and uh, placeholder equals, uh, let's say cat. Uh, anyone that knows me knows that that is a lie. Uh, and 
placeholder equals, uh, let's say my favorite pizza, or sorry, my favorite food is pizza. So let's say my favorite food is cheese. All right. So we're just going to name this uh, demo underscore form, and I'm going to throw it on my desktop for now. And then over here in Firefox, let's open that file. You see demo form.html, open it up. All right, and we have our form. Uh, the labels correspond with the input fields. We've got our uh, you know, placeholder text and we've got our submit button. Uh, now there's obviously not a lot of formatting here and we haven't done anything with the CSS uh, in this demo. Uh, but that's kind of the whole point of this is, is you want to make this match the environment where you're going to use the form, right? And you may have existing external CSS or some CSS you can copy in line, or you can just start playing around with the styling, uh, you know, so that you can match colors or so you can match fonts or you can center everything on the screen, uh, you know, you can really do whatever you want and there's tons of resources out there. You could even go out and just get CSS, sample CSS that's provided freely on the internet and paste it into the head of, of your HTML file and uh, have everything you need there. But let's go ahead and just prove that this works. So first question, what is your favorite color? I am going to type blue. What is your favorite animal? I am going to type dog. And what is your favorite food? I am going to type pizza. We hit submit form. We get the Google response page, the confirmation page for the form. So we assume it works, but let's go ahead and go back to our form in here uh, in the form creator in Google. And you'll see we have responses and you'll see it is the blue dog and pizza. And if we create a Google Sheet out of that data, we get the same thing. Um, you know, we can go back to Firefox um, and do this again. And this time, let's go ahead and type red uh, lion and ugh, pie. All right, submit form. Again, we get that, form, that um, confirmation page. And if we switch over, you see that we get the Google form. So it really is that simple to do this. Uh, where you'll, again, want to spend your time is in the styling, right? Isn't that the whole point, right? Let's, let's make a beautiful uh, HTML and CSS front end that utilizes the functionality of a Google form on the back end. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create your own custom front end for your Google forms and I hope to make more videos soon. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can email info at trabanttech.com, or of course, you can go to trabanttech.com slash contact and use that customized uh, Google form that I created. And have a nice day.